Hello there, buddy Vesper here, and welcome to Hand of Fate. This, I believe, is a procedurally generated dungeon crawling game that has to do with cards. So it's, I, it might be a deck building game. I have no clue. I, I always forget what these kind of games are once I actually get into them. But I opened the game up, and it came up with this. I didn't get a menu screen or anything like that. And I didn't know what the heck this was, so I'm just gonna go ahead and click start and see what happens. Oh, one more for the game. Come, Sid. Okay. You have passed the 13 gates. I didn't pass any gate. And you come to my table to play the game of life and death. Sure. Your stake is wagered. I refuse none who come here. Yet, I say, turn back. But I don't wanna. I just got here. What the fuck? The game begins. One lives and one dies. Let us see what you are made of. Continue. Here is the first member of my court. The Jack of Dust. Twelve in all must fall before you may challenge me. Oh, okay. I'm <laughs> fucking confused. I didn't get a menu or anything, man. There's no subtitles. I don't know if I can turn them on and off. Anyway, Jack of Dust. The bandit leader is stronger and faster than most bandits encountered. He can become in and he can become enraged, making powerful, unblockable attacks. He also inspires his followers to steal gold on each hit. Okay, it seems like I have to fight 12 bosses and then I have to fight him. Essentially. What the fuck is this game? Let the cards fall where they may. We begin. Huh? Oh, okay, I do have stuff. Okay, we go to settings. Um, oh, 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 no, stop it. Subtitles Orn, thank you very much. Jesus Christ. Okay, it's probably gonna tell me. Wait a minute. It's probably gonna tell me as I go. Choose your card. All right, we got inventory you can here. Review your cards here. Cool. Oh, awesome. Hundred health, twenty food, ten gold are my cards. I've got an adventurer dude right here. He's got a rusty axe, which is attack damage of twenty. God damn. Left click mouse button to attack. Alrighty, so choose your next card. This Twisted Canyon. That I have no clue what's going on. That glinting weapon, the call to action, to adventure. Truly, there is nothing like it. Awesome. What? You see a weapon glinting in the sunlight, lying next to a skeleton at the bottom of the canyon. Climb down the to retrieve the weapon. Let's see. Oh. Choose from these options. Oh. Okay, so I have a one third chance, one fourth chance of dying. Success. Or, okay, cool. Climb down. Uh, very carefully, you make your way down to the bottom of the canyon. Okay. Draw one equipment card. I got a sword! Ooh, the sword is better! Cool. Would you like to equip the sword? Yes, I would. To savor. That will make you much more effective. Choose your next card. Oh my god. So this is this is a card dungeon game from the way of it seems, and it's also a deck building game. That's fucking neat. I wonder if this is an actual, like, legit game that I could get. It probably is. Here is all you have gained. No upgrades. Fantastic. No, stop that. Go back. Hang on, I'm gonna go back to the controls really quick. All right. So let's go to our next card. See what our next card has. The Maiden. Fair Merith. I'm not. Oh, we're minusing to food with each move. This encounter remains vivid in your memories. <laughs> okay. Good for me. One day, in a shady forest, you encounter an elf maiden. She stops to greet you. I am Merith of- I am Merith of the- 
I am Merith of the Wood Folk. My people have long helped the mortals of this realm. What boon would you ask of me? Ask for longer life, ask for supplies, ask for gold. Um, okay, let's go ahead. I'm going to actually, I'm going to say life as you wish. Merith mutters a w and waves her hand. A light shines from your skin. Merith draw. What the dealer draws you one max gain card. So my max health is increased by health. five. But it is only a momentary respite. Whoa, my max health has increased. The greatest of magical artifacts were forged long ago, and if only limits what and if only limited uses before their power is spent. Use them wisely and they may guide you to victory. Farewell, mortal. Alright. What's this the next card? I was never a fan of illusion or pretense. Here, I'll make an exception. Okay. Cool. So every move is taking one of my food away. So I'm going to have to restore food eventually, or else I won't be able to continue. From the way it seems. Anyway, whilst enjoying your evening meal at the local, at the local tavern, a strange, ma a strange old man takes the seat next to yours. He taps your shoulder quite painfully with his wooden staff to get your attention, and you notice that he appears to be a goblin fully disguised as a human. His wizened face grins at you with a hint of madness. My father is Mr. Lionel. You give me what I need, boy. I will conquer. What? I will conjure up your heart's desire with a wizard's wand of my own creation. I can't give him 20 gold. Give him bread from your plate. Ask him what he needs. Ignore the goblin. That sounds like a bad idea. Ah, uh, what does he need? Need, I need to help you. He needs to help me? Mr. Lionel taps his staff on the ground and a shield materializes at your feet. There you go, old bean. He smiles a, warning gr he smiles a warm grin that reveals all his chops and yellowed teeth. Your, f your face reminds me of my son. I haven't met you before, have I? Draw one equipment card. I got a shield! Okay, I have no clue what is going on, but that's cool. This is actually really interesting. Reflect. Shields will... No. Shields with this trait allow the hero to reflect projectiles back at the attacker. This must be performed while... with precise timing as the projectiles draw near. Press the Q button to reflect projectiles. Look for the green indicator above the hero's head. Counter. What do you do with this trait allow the hero to counter their foe's attack? Press Q. Okay. So I have to time a Q. I have to time it. So I got the shield. You can now reflect your opponent's ranged attacks using your shield. Make good use of this skill if you wish to survive. Okay. I wonder if the battles are actually active battles where I can control a character and actually walk around. Then before you could stop him, with inhuman speed, he snatches an, a pickled onion off your plate and sprints out of the tavern's door. Okay, it doesn't seem like it minus any of my food. There's a spider over there. Oh, that's creepy! There was a spider! Okay. What's next? Stairs! Now once more, seeking the heart of it all. Take the stairs, turn back. Um, take the stairs. You embark upon the next leg of your journey. Your journey is well begun. This is what I was looking for. You show some aptitude for the game. Perhaps this will not be as boring as I thought. I haven't done anything. I've just clicked to the next card. Ambush, oh boy. What did you think would happen with a card called Ambush, eh? <laughs> All right, I guess we're gonna do a fight. Draw a monster card. A slight rustling behind you is all the worrying you need to get your life in the... What? Is all the worrying you get that your life is in grave danger. Okay. Draw a monster card. A three of dust. Whoa. 
What the fuck? You can now counter your opponent's attacks. Hit the Stun counter attack. button when you see the flashing indicator. Where'd my mouse go? Oh! Oh my god! Interactive fights! Dude! That's neat! Ow! God damn it! I can counter! Oh my god! Nope! Nope! You're not gonna kill me! Can I stun you? There we go! Stun! Suck it! Suck it! Oh my god! That's freaking neat, dude! Interactive fighting? That's so cool! While searching the area for another worthy sa for anything worth salvaging, you right what? Oh, while searching the area for anything worth salvaging, you realize that one of your opponents is only pretending to be dead. Sneak up and kill him. Ah, hopefully this will be in my favor. Cool. That's not the one I wanted to click, but the one I wanted to click anyway was still good. So, Steve would kill him. A quick... Ah, a quick weapon blow to the head fixes that. You finish searching the area. The dealer... Draw... The dealer draws you three game cards. What does that mean? I'm sure oh. you're grateful for that. I got an armor equipment. I got a shield. I cannot expect you to get by without some protection. Sure. Really? I'll equip that shield. Going to do? On food. Cool beans. Oh. Oh, we got 20 gold? Dude. Okay, so we got a sword. This is our inventory over here. Hmm. No upgrades to the adventure. Gotta stop doing that. No upgrades to the adventure. We have what looks like an armor card, a shield card. Can I actually see the armor? Yeah, light armor. I've got a shield. So I've got a second shield. But I have no other weapons because apparently the axe was replaced with the sword. Dude, I gotta stop doing that, man. This is actually freaking cool. I'm gonna go to the next card. An ambush. Hardly fair, is it? Oh, it's another fight. Apparently. As you move on, you will regain health. That's pretty neat. Draw a monster card. Two dust. Ooh, give us all your gold or die. Give them all your gold. Attack the ca attack the cowardly band t for daring to threaten you. You know what? It's only two of them. We didn't have too rough of a time last time. So let's go ahead and fight them. Because I don't want to lose 30 gold. 30 gold sounds like it's a decent amount. Uh, attack. The cowardly band for threatening you. You shut a battle cry and raise your weapon. The battle begins. Ah! That's my lackluster battle cry. <laughs> There's me. There's my shield. There's my sword. Alrighty. Here we go. Take some of this. Take some of this. Take some of that. Nope, nope, not getting me. Not getting me, not getting me. Take some of that. Oh, oh. Can't get me with that. This combat's actually rather easy. I must say. Oh, shield bash to the face to end it all. The combat's actually pretty easy to get a hold of, and it's actually really fun, too. I can see... Oh, get three game cards. So this is a... Draw one. Okay, so we draw one equipment. A peasant's weapon, but effective nonetheless. Ooh, um, I think our sword was 23. Yeah, our sword is 23. Strike enemies to swing your axe. Um, let's go ahead and equip the new axe because it's a more powerful thing. We got three food. Very good. And three more food. More food is always better because that allows us to keep going. Is there any way to save? I don't see any way to save, so we'd probably just go until we lose. Traveling mage. 
In a shady grove off the beaten trail, you find a traveling merchant looking to trade with wandering adventurers. Ah, let's see what the shop has. Greetings, wise traveler. I have much to offer you. What do if you have? If you're wondering why you've been collecting all that gold, you now have your answer. We're starting to get into the meat of the game now. The back and forth between resources and rewards. Hmm. So I can buy food, buy items, or sell items. What do you have? You have... Alchemy Silver. Press 2 to attack faster with each successful strike. The longer your combo, the more explosive the reaction. The power of a prophet. Choose your fate. When you draw supplies, instead draw 2 and take 1. I can buy this Let one. The lizard men beware. Lizards take double damage. Dragon the key train. to success is specialization. The more specific the intention, the more channeled the power, and the more dramatic is the result. Sell that shield for four. Sell this shield for four. We're gonna sell. I think that's a shield I have. Yeah, that's a shield I have covered. We're gonna sell this shield. I don't know if you lose weapons or anything like that. And we're going to sell this sword. So that way, we can go back in. The Dragon's Ring. Well, in its potential, the most powerful artifact I've ever seen. Cool. Well, all Dragon Relics are equipped to receive 50% max health and full healing after every battle. Dude, if I get a full dragon set, this could be amazing. I'm going to actually go ahead and choice. buy that. How much gold do we have? We have six. We can't buy anything else. Can we? Well, can we buy food? Value, six. I can buy food for six. I don't need to buy food, though. Alrighty, are you sure you want to leave the shop? Yes. Cool beans! We got one dragon item. I don't know how many there freaking are. But once we get them all, we're going to be badass. Oh. You have reached my first champion. A good man, driven to madness by a war that took all from him. Wife and child, kith and kin. From such dark and brittle iron, I forge my tools. Now we see your metal. Alrighty. We're gonna this fight the Jack of Dust. More cards if you can defeat this encounter. Okay, let's see if we can beat the Jack of Dust. I wonder how difficult a boss will be. Four Dust! Oh, shit. This could be a little difficult. Oh, hi! This could be a little difficult. What's up? I'm ready. Some enemy attacks cannot be blocked or countered. Some of that! Alright. out of the way. Or stop so that means get out of the counter. freaking way! Oh. Ha! Oh, okay. Take some of this! Take some of this! Alright, this is actually quite easy to dodge them all. My axe seems to be... a little slower than the sword would be. Take some of that! And some of... Oh, oh, nope. So red ones you cannot block. It's only the green ones. Ah, goddammit. How am I supposed to finish them off? Counter it. Get out of the way. Take some of this! Why is it slowing down time? I wish it wouldn't do that. Nope, nope, nope. And that, and that, and that. Counter. Whoop. Oh, we just barely dodged that one. Okay. It's just me and this guy. It's just me and you. Just me and you. I'm gonna stun him. And then we'll get some smacks on. Whoop. No. No. Go ahead and stun again. Take some of that. Ow. Oh, he stole my gold. I forgot he steals gold with every hit. Damn. Nope! Ah! God damn it! Come here! You're gonna... Nope! Not getting hit! Take some of that! And some of that! Whoop! Whoop! Okay, we're just gonna, like, attack him and run. We beat him! We beat him! Yes! What do we get? What do we get? What do we get? Oh my god, I like this game! This is awesome! Down into the worms with him. Perhaps there is peace for him in the grave, poor soul. Hey, hey, hey. One champion has been sent to the cabinet. Yet we are only at the start of our road. 
you will face 11 more opponents who will test your strength, your memories, and your resolve. Few fall at the first hurdle, none reach the last. We have wagered, and you have won. You may claim your rewards, yet I will also claim mine. As you improve, so do I. Balance must be retained. What do I get? Ooh, as a reward for beating Shaq, you receive these new cards. I don't know what they are. Whoa. Oh, what's this? You receive these new cards as well. <gasps> Ooh, more armor and new weapons. And what is this one? A new challenge, bandit attack. Ooh, shall we deal again? Ah, uh, crap. I don't know if it will save. I'm gonna have to trust that it will save. We're not too far in, so if it doesn't, because I'm I'm actually out of time for today. So I wanted to just get in, try this game out. It's freaking awesome. I'm definitely gonna play more of this. We're gonna see if we can actually beat all 12 of his challenges. We've got 11 more, and then probably him. But I really like this. I like deck building games. They're super fun. For I think they're super fun. And for a while there, I was like really into them. And it's cool to like go back to them every now and then because they're so much fun. But it's also really nice to see, like, the evolution of deck building games. We have them just being like, hey, it's just cards and maybe dice. So, hey, it's cards, but now your own skill and, like, just skill, I guess, plays a role in it. So if I was not good at the combat, I wouldn't last long. So I have to be good at the combat, and I'm also dealing with the luck of the cards as well. And just making choices from what I get. So it's actually really cool. I don't know if it's actually scripted to get certain things, like certain events to happen, like, oh, this at this certain spot, you're going to be attacked. At this certain spot, you're going to be a merchant or something like that. I don't know if that's scripted or not. I doubt it would be, but it could be. But regardless, this is awesome. So I'm going to be leaving this one here, so we will pick this up in the next episode. So until then, everybody.